<laughs> New car, bitches. Class sells a Dodge Charger. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, this is one of the first few cars you can get in the game. It's not the first, but it's one of the very early in the game you can get this car. And it handles really well, and it's pretty good at the high level, and I'm like, then why does my Plymouth Hemi Cuda not handle well? in the same way. It's real heavy and difficult to get around the corners, but this is like much easier and like much more compliant with where you want it to go. It just goes as well, it's just so fucking good. I'm just wrecking everybody in this thing. And it's like a fucking... Whatever. But this game isn't exactly balanced, and it's like, sometimes you've just got to feel out what did the developers want you to drive and just drive that. Because you're thinking, oh yeah, like, they'll obviously want me to drive this car, or I really like this car, and then it handles like shit, and you're like, what? why? Or they just gave it a really poor treatment and it's just like, okay, I guess I'll have to try something else. And then you you suddenly hit like the gold. It's like every racing game after a while you start to realize, oh, they wanted me to drive this car. Like you can feel it in the way it's been tuned and handled. Whoever was responsible for the car, they really loved the car and they really wanted you to drive it. And then there are other ones where they're like, no one gave a shit, or it's just unbalanced in an unfun way, and it's difficult to drive, and you're struggling as a result. But this is good. I like this. Slides into drifts just the right way without it going too slidey. It's like... You can see here I've started to use just low boost cans. <laughs> with lots of them because it stops the game's physics from freaking out. Ah, shit. Fuck. The one piece of something that I can't break through. Actually, way better to have many small ones because then you can use them to recover from fuck ups like that. And they regenerate really quickly, like it's already regenerated, so you can just spam if you feel like it, and it just keeps bringing them back so quickly. Sick. Again, I feel like the game wanted me to use the small canisters. It's not balanced for you to use the big, powerful canisters. Yeah, heat level free already. <laughs> uh, we're already one level up. But we can do better than that because that was just one race. Fox Bat. Who is naming these? Needle Tail. Should we do a sprint race? Should we do a different sprint race? That's got less. That's got more. I'm going to turn the car on. So, yeah, this car makes me want to go get some other classic muscle cars and fiddle around with them. There's like loads in this game. There's a Mustang Boss 302, and there's a Camaro, uh, and I think another Mustang. There's a couple of Mustangs, and I just thought. Fuck you. <laughs> that didn't kill! Then he killed me.
Hags, so cool hags. Quick, quick, quick before they catch up. Yeah. So yeah, it makes you wonder if grinding for the really high level cars in this game is actually worthwhile because if they're like, there's no effort put into them, or there's just like, they're like, oh, who's driving this car? It doesn't matter. Because uh, some of the cars at the later end, you're paying like millions, a million and a half, two million for like the top models in this game. And it makes you wonder if I buy that car and I spend all my money and it handles like absolute crap, you know, you you got it, you just got it in your garage forever, and you're like, I, I just sat and ground for like three hours to get the bank doing the same circuit races over and over again just to get the like most expensive car in the game, and it handles like shit. That'd be so upsetting. easy in this anyway. It's like, what's the point? What's the point of me, like, getting to max rep and then s grinding for cash to get the Koenigsegg that's, like, the final car in the game if it's, like, gonna handle terribly? I don't think it will, but I think some of the other cars in that kind of upper band will have be, be developed less favorably. speed, but like, whatever, I was on the verge of, like, easy. <laughs> Doesn't help that, I just smash into everything. They're not actually that far behind me, it's just they're not really challenging or pushing, they're just kind of floating around in like second or third place and not that's the thing about the AI, it's not really normally need for speed has really fucking aggressive rubber banding where they're like you make one mistake and they just zoom past you. But in this one, they just kind of stay behind you once you've gotten past them and don't really challenge very much. I don't know. Like, if your performance rating's a certain point, is like the AI becomes less cocky and less likely to challenge you. I don't know. Another win! How much does that make? Okay, okay. Is that like 37,000 and everything else was like 8? Maybe I haven't done it as much. Like the pots, the reward pots decrease if you keep doing it. And you have to like cycle through all of the events, otherwise it, like, 
perhaps drops to like really low reward money, so it's not worth it. behind me there. There's not much point hold, like, holding on to these NOS canisters because they regenerate so quickly, you might as well just use them whenever. <laughs> so this charger is also like fitted with a passive that means that if you crash into a police vehicle, they take more damage. Oh, that was a good example right there. <laughs> so, it's pretty good, but like, it really could use for a damage reduction instead, because it seems to take ridiculous amounts of damage every time I hit a cop car, so... I, I, it doesn't tell you, there's no slider, there's no hidden... There's a hidden value, but you're not allowed to see the number that dictates this car will, like, take X amount of damage when you crash at this speed, this car will take Y amount of damage, and it is different from car to car, and it you can reduce it with passive buffs, but you never know by how much and you never know why certain cars are ridiculously fragile, like this all steel framed muscle car takes way more damage way more quickly than the Ferrari Testarossa I have does. Like, I don't really get it. Maybe I'm just more aggressive in the Charger, and that's what I'm seeing, but like, it feels like there's like a hidden number that's the, your durability. See, that did like a third of my health bar almost. It did kill him, but like then two more show up, you know? <laughs> It didn't work because I just drove around it. <laughs> like it was. Remember when the spike strips in Most Wanted, the PS2 game, covered like the whole width of the road? I win again. 
Okay, so we got to level 45. This level's 46. Mm. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, should I risk it? It's not too bad. Mm. Gotta risk it. Our unit suspending pursuit. Don't know how many got away. Next time they won't be so lucky. Okay, back to work, everyone. <laughs> They're just so ridiculous, these cops, like, chatter. It's just so, like, over the top. It's like, why is the entire police focused on capture capturing street races, but if you speed by them or do anything with low heat, they don't care? Why do they allow day events if they're trying to discourage street racing in general. Why do they allow license events to happen in their city? Just tell them to go somewhere else. Doesn't make any sense. We can hear sirens already. <laughs> actually don't want to get too much heat from this because I actually want to make it back with the rep I've got uh, because you know we're going up a few levels from the amount of rep we have here so it would be kind of uh, bad to lose all that and any money we have to see where the road begins and ends on these kind of parts of the map, so... this race. Yeah, I might have, you know, I might have ruined it. Ah. Oh. Second. Oh, come on. Oh. 
Well, that's okay. They give you a lot of the rep anyway. And now we got to lose these guys, and it's level four. It's it's okay. It's doable. Stingers are being set up ahead. Just hoping it works. Gotcha. Was that like the spike strip failed. there? Because it was like really like well. Suspect was last seen in the area. Start searching. <laughs> Strips just but like if I remember rightly, spike strips like screw you up so bad in these kind of games because you're they're not like a temporary debuff, they just fuck up your tires and that's it, and you have to kind of like limp it back to the nearest place and half the time you can't if you're being pursued, so mm. Okay. Lost them. I'm calling it off. This is probably a bad decision. Be a lot easier if you won't actually try. Oh, baby again. Really? It's not worth it. <laughs> Better just to get back <laughs> with what I have. Completed the activity. They could have made it sound cooler, couldn't they? You did the thing. <laughs> like, you know, if this was most wanted, it would be way more gangster sounding. But yeah, you something, the something. It's completed the activity just sounds so like data entry man. <laughs> oh well. That was pretty productive. Level 46 now. Getting there. You are lighting up the night. Getting there really quickly, almost near the end of like the level cap, so we'll see what happens. Nice. 